Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, a very interesting video today. We're going to react to Inside the Rise of Germany's Neo-Nazis by the channel Tyler Oliveira. This is a video that will discuss mass migration to Germany and moreover the potential threat of Islamization of Germany. I personally come from a background of immigrant parents. They migrated to Germany from the Balkans, former Yugoslav Republic. And I am a revert to Islam. Therefore, I know a thing or two about foreigners or Muslims in Germany. Guys, before we jump into the video, as always, if you enjoy my work, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support my work. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. The immigrants are in Germany to make Germany an Islamic state. In 2023, foreigners made up 15% of Germany's population, but accounted for 41% of all violent crime suspects, with 75% of the victims being Germans. As Germany is the third largest host of refugees, hosting over 2.5 million refugees, with almost half of all Germans believing refugees are no longer welcome, placing their hopes and their votes in the nationalist, anti-immigrant, far-right AFD party, causing them to win a regional election in the state of Thuringia, and to make history as the first far-right political party to win in Germany since the Nazis in World War II. Yeah, first and foremost, the AFD, the so-called Alternative for Deutschland, is most certainly not the equivalent of the Nazis back in the day. Matter of fact, the AFD has a huge representation of Zionists within their own party. But anyways, that is a topic for another day. What I want to talk about is the criminality by immigrants, by foreigners in Germany. And this is something that I witnessed growing up in Germany myself. I come from immigrant parents myself, but I was always told to integrate into the system, to respect the customs of the Germans, that we are a sort of guest in this country, etc. And I would say that I succeeded with that, at least most of the time. Nevertheless, growing up, I had German friends, I had foreign friends from everywhere, Polish, Kurdish and whatnot. But the point that I'm making is that growing up, when it comes down to criminality, especially very aggressive, violent criminality, 99% of the time it was foreigners. And this is why I shied away from Islam back in those days as well, because predominantly it was Muslims. When you look into the drug trade, when you look into violence, as I mentioned, if you look into prostitution, whatever, 99% of the time it is so-called Muslims and therefore understand the German perspective because they simply see foreigners that are Muslims, at least on the surface level, and those people, many of them, not all of course, are involved in criminal activity and therefore of course they see Islam as the threat. It became a beast and we are not really able to stop it anymore. And people just think about it, how it all went when, when fascist Germany rose. Yeah, and I'm afraid that it will happen again. Yeah, okay, you have to be very, very careful with what you say here on this platform, of course. But this is not how Nazi Germany came into power. If you look into the rise of the Nazis, it was a political conflict, especially due to the banking system within Germany. It had nothing to do with the scale of migration that you have nowadays. So those two things are very, very different. Germans believe their national identity is being destroyed, their generosity exploited, their culture degraded, and their country no longer safe as they mass import economic migrants and refugees into their country. Other Germans are fearful they're witnessing the rise of the Fourth Reich as AFD politicians were caught meeting with neo-Nazi activists discussing their master plan to deport millions of migrants from their country, causing mass protests across Germany, calling for a complete ban of what is now Germany's second strongest party, labeling them and their supporters neo-Nazis. Yes, and I would absolutely agree with the Germans that claim that their generosity is being abused because after all, Germany opened up the doors for those foreigners, for more economic prosperity, if you will, for safety as well. Some of them come from war zones after all. But matter of fact is that many foreigners, not all of course, I was a foreigner myself in Germany, now I'm a foreigner in Thailand, but that being said, many foreigners do hate Germany. They do hate the West. And I find this extremely hypocritical. I personally don't agree with the West either. But guess what? 
This is why I moved to the East. I don't agree with the majority of politics within the West. I always was respectful when I lived there. However, when I saw that this is not the political environment, this is not the social environment that I want to live in, this is when I left. And this is why when I see fellow Muslims in Germany advocating for certain things that are simply not congruent with German values, but not only that, but advocating for direct hate towards the West, I'm truly wondering what they are doing over there. After all, Germany, the West, is the land of the Kufar, the land of the disbelievers. And if you truly hate it so much, you should simply move to a Muslim country. And this is not me hate-mongering or supporting the far right, supporting the Nazis. I have absolutely no interest in political ideologies. I believe in Islam as the solution for the world. However, it all depends on context, of course. And I often give the example of Indonesia. Indonesia is the majority Muslim population on this planet at this moment in time. But how did Indonesia become Muslim? It became Muslim through trading with Chinese Muslims. And those Chinese Muslims had such amazing mannerisms. They were a perfect example of Islam. And therefore, the Indonesian population adopted Islam because they liked what they saw. However, you cannot expect the same from a mass immigration that is changing the fabric of the culture in Germany, coming with their foreign values and then imposing what they want onto Germany. This is not a beautiful example of Islam and this is not how you spread it at all. This is not organic whatsoever. The AFD regularly rejects accusations of extremism, but the BBC has found clear links between significant party figures. There's only one Islam and this is what is dangerous for Europe and it's not at all compatible to our values. Not at all. I believe all religions are same and they should be, uh, you know, brotherhood. Before I go to a protest organized by Pegida, an organization opposed to mass migration and the Islamization of the West, with a counter protest organized by Antifa right next door, what does the liberal city of Berlin think about the migrants in Germany and the rise of the so-called far right? Where are you from? I'm from India. Came here for work? Uh, no, I, I, I'm a student. Was yeah. it difficult to come to school here? No, of no? course not. Easy? Yeah, so much. Do you think Germany is letting <laughs> too many immigrants in? So much. Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on the AFD party? Oh, this is very bad for uh, for the foreign people. Very, very bad. Tell me your thoughts on that. This is really, you feel that they are very racist and they are so radical. For Germany, it's not good. And this is so bad image for, for Germany. I'm from Thuringia, so... Okay, so that's where they won the election? Yeah, that's right. Were you happy that day or ha unhappy? <laughs> no, nobody in my uh, friend circle or family circle was happy about it. And the rise of the populist parties is a big problem not even in Thuringia but the whole of Europe I would say. That's too, right. too many immigrants here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think you're a hypocrite for thinking that? No I don't think so. Are you the exception? No I I, I guess no. I'm coming here yeah. from... It's so hilarious when you see this because he is obviously a migrant to Germany but I know many migrants as well <laughs> my many of my friends family members even that absolutely hate immigration but meanwhile you are a migrant yourself so there's definitely this right-wing thinking this hypocrisy within many migrants too but ultimately the only solution if you follow this doctrine is of course to remove yourself from that country and i personally had the same worldview i was a migrant to germany and I hated the mass migration and therefore I left. I think I did the sensible thing. I guess not. I'm coming here from uh, Tunisia for 30 years and uh, Germany, it's changed now, yes? They changed uh, so they don't like foreign people, that, uh, but on the same time, they need work. This is a big problem for uh, maybe the government because they accepting a lot of refugee, but the refugee, why? Because they have no language. But if you say two years, you stay here and you uh, you get money and you don't work. This is a big uh, lose for, for the country. I think they yes. are... Yeah, he basically debunked himself there because he said it's not a good look for Germany because Germany needs workers. But then at the same time, he says that there are many migrants that actually come to Germany and they simply sit on their butts, watch TV and receive money from the government. And this is a lot of migrants that actually do that. Yet again, firsthand, I know many people that simply receive money from Germany and never worked a day in Germany. Therefore, this is truly a bad argument because Germany does not need that many migrant workers. 
you stay here and you uh, you get money and you don't work, this is a big uh, loss for, for the country. I think they are a little bit racist. Why do you think uh, the alt-right so and AFD is on the rise? Migration. I think people getting Germans and so getting annoyed by migration. Uh, it's a populist party. It's a party that just uh, uh, doesn't really have any politics or any uh, real plans for Germany. That's my opinion at least. Sure. And they use uh, not only scapegoats, it's just what populism does, just uh, quick answers to complex questions. According to Google, 14% of the population right now in Germany is immigrant population or of immigrant background. I think it's higher. Higher? Let's, let's call it 14 or higher. Yeah. And roughly 40% of the crimes are committed by that 14%. Why do you think that is? And is that a reason for concern? Well, that still leaves 60% of, uh, of crime on, on, on nationals, right? So it's True. absolutely, a, if just by numbers, it's more local people, let's call it that. I mean, of course, it's a curse no, of it's concern. Not, man. The guy doesn't understand math. You have 100% crime. 60% of that crime is committed allegedly by Germans, whatever that means, probably German passport holders. But nevertheless, let's say it is truly ethnic Germans. And 40%, almost the half, is committed by foreigners. And so therefore, by this alleged metric, you have 18% of the population, a minority, committing almost half of the crime. So this is exponentially much more than the other side if it were true that those are all just Germans. But I don't think the cause of concern or the, the answer is shutting out uh, immigrants. Uh, that are populist Why not? Party that the Germans are so brainwashed nowadays, it's absolutely unbelievable. Why wouldn't the solution be to kick out certain immigrants? For example, if you look into the Arab Emirates, over 80% of people are migrants to that country. And if they misbehave, they get kicked out right away. This is the reality of a Muslim Arab country. And it's not the only one on the planet. It is just common sense, of course. You let immigrants into your country, those immigrants misbehave, then you need to kick them out right away. I am a migrant to Thailand. Western migrants like myself are called expats over here. What a fancy title. But nevertheless, I'm an immigrant in this country. And I would demand that if I misbehave, if I commit any crime here in Thailand, I should be deported right away. Why should Thailand tolerate me? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. This is this SJW thinking. No, you seek refuge in a new country. You misbehave. Okay, bye-bye. Leave the country. A democracy? Okay, tell me more. Most importantly, I think they threaten to undermine the trust that people have in our democratic institutions. Okay. Especially young people. I'm very concerned yeah, about that. Uh, why would you trust the democracy? Studies done on like the Shell Jugend Studio and stuff where we see... Uh, already the very negative effects that populism has had on their outlook on democracy and the future. Do you think Germany has an obligation to bring in refugees? I think Germany has an obligation as any Why? Western rich country. What are your thoughts Why? on it? This is absolutely unbelievable and has nothing to do with reality whatsoever. Why would Germany have to take in migrants? Doesn't make any sense. Usually if you talk about migration, let's say because of a war, the neighboring country takes in the people from the attacked country. This is how it usually works. So, for example, if you had the war in Syria, those Syrians should go to Turkey, for example. So, you could say that Turkey has the obligation to take in its neighbors, if you will. But why would Germany, which is so far away, have the obligation to take in those foreigners. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And this is the political brainwashing that has been going on in Germany. And therefore, you really cannot wonder now that you see a rise in the right wing. Western rich country. What are your thoughts on immigration here in Germany? I think it's less of a problem than we make it look sometimes. I think there are great opportunities in immigration, but I also think that we need to be careful in how we approach it because the topic is already so partially poisoned in public discourse. Do you think immigrants have an obligation to build and uplift their own community rather than leaving and fleeing to countries like Germany, let's say? That's an obligation for the for, for politics sure. and politicians. Politics, of course, that's also something that I think nowadays it's being forgotten. Politics, they come from the people. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Iran. How do you like Germany? I love it. I love Berlin, not the whole Germany. Uh, where have you been treated differently here in Germany? Uh, in uh, Rostock. What was the experience? They were like, "You're not, you're not welcome here. You're, you're, you're not one of us. Like, what are you doing here?" And then it made me go crazy because I, I found myself being aggressive, like around people, and I was like, "Hey, it's not me, but 
Yeah, it changed me. And does Muslim culture integrate well into Germany from what you've seen? No. It's important to say uh, it's because of German. Uh, German's uh, fault? <laughs> it's not a thing of yeah. fault, but it's, it's, I think it's one of those things. Is, does Germany have an obligation to change and modify themselves to accommodate them or vice versa? Uh, I would say neither. I think cultures, uh, and uh, we can see, for example, in the UK, the UK is a way more uh, um, integrated or diverse culture. I hear many people call them racist and the they're guys undermining really the Of course, German culture is very far away from Islam, and this brings me back to my initial example example why certain countries should migrate to neighboring countries. It only makes sense. If there was a war in the Netherlands, those Dutch people should migrate to Germany, potentially. Why would those Dutch people now migrate to Iran, for example? Let's say mass migrate to Iran and then say that, well, the Iranian people, they simply are not very accepting of Christianity. What a bunch of racists. And we have to start building churches here and we have to start building Dutch pubs over here. Let's start drinking beer everywhere. You see how this doesn't make sense. Nobody would ask something like this of any other country. But when it comes down to the West, the West has to open up its doors. No, it does not. I, as I said, have my roots in the Balkan. The Balkan is already very different from the West. I clearly was a foreigner in the West. Moreover, I'm a revert to Islam. So I have a very different viewpoint than the majority of the West, than the average German person. And that is absolutely fine. This is why I don't live there. But those people simply expect that Germany has to mold to their desires. Yes, absolutely. It has to become Islamic now. It has to start speaking Arabic potentially. What is this? You would never expect this from any other country. I hear many people call them racist and they're undermining democracy. Yeah, okay. I think so too, yeah. Why do you think they're gaining They don't even know what it right means. Now? Because they uh, provide easy solutions for difficult problems, but right. the solutions are not really that simple. Um, you see, um, in Germany, we don't have so big problems. We are a rich country with many people, but for me, we come from South Germany. It, the world is okay. Life is good. <laughs> the life is good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but South day, Germany has grass, way less immigration. The flowers, <laughs> life is good. Germany, I see no fentanyl addicts, no trash cans on fire. The city is peaceful, let's be honest. There's not a fraction of the problems I've seen in major U.S. cities here in Germany, but anything's it's possible. Into the same Before direction, I go to ultimately. Dresden, I headed to Erfurt in the state of Thuringia, where the AFD won the state's elections after receiving 30.5% of the vote. Why are people in the state so supportive of the AFD? And are their feelings towards mass immigration much different than the more liberal international city of Berlin we just talked to? What does the public think here out in the city? Let's go talk. Excuse me. Do you know about AFD? Good or bad? Bad. Bad? Yeah. He's against all the refugees. Okay. Why did you guys come here to Germany? We came here to live with all people, to look for uh, safety and to have good life. But AFD is against all of this. Okay. What did you guys uh, flee? The war? I came because of the war in my country. You guys have family here too? No. They are yeah, they are trying to come also. Okay. Yeah. Now what will happen for all the refugees will happen to us. Okay. You're concerned about getting deported back home? I don't know. Maybe. All right. Thank you for the sticker. Goodbye. Well, you give us a sticker. Protect the trans kids and fight fascism. I don't really yeah, want to get exactly. into that. Always go hand it's a, in hand. Um, very complex discussion. Liberals. And I think it's uh, there are many things, factors playing into it. But I think it's not uh, the AFD is not the solution at all. Sure. It is um, anti-democratic. Oh, where are you guys from? India. India. Morocco. India. Okay. How long have you guys been here in Germany? Two months. One year. One year. One year. One year. Why did you guys come here to Germany? Uh, actually, I'm doing an house building, house building in uh, in here in Germany. A uh, better future. I want to earn money. I want I want to take a new experience over here. Hey, I'm in here in Germany for my house building, and uh, I'm here for, for making my future better. And what are your thoughts on their uh, anti-immigrant sentiment? We need them. My generation is is not enough to fill all the the work. Yeah, we we, we can offer. So we our population uh, shrinks, uh, and yeah, we we will not be able to fill in a sufficient workforce. Yeah, what are your thoughts okay. on and there's absolutely a true problem that he addressed there. The Germans simply don't reproduce. It is absolutely true. On average, a German has 1.2 children. So on average, they have one child. Some of them have no children whatsoever. But you just have to look at it objectively and very, very simply. They said it's such a complex subject, you cannot simplify it. Yes, of course, you can simplify it. It just needs a little bit of common sense. 
So ethnic Germans don't reproduce, so their population is going down. If you produce two children, you simply replicate it. If you produce three children, now you multiply it. Now your population is growing. If you only produce one child or no children whatsoever, your population is going down. And now mass migration is happening with people that have very high fertility rates. So like this, the ethnic Germans will be replaced. And now people still will say, well, this great replacement is a conspiracy theory. No, it is not. It is simple math. An AFD. Okay, you're smiling. Any thoughts? I have no I have. I don't have any interest in this. I just live my life. I see like everything is normal here. Everything is convenience. Everyone are doing what they like and I'm also enjoying it. How would you rate Germany on a scale of 1 to 10? Are you guys happy here? Give me a number. Trump? Eight. Yeah. How would you rate uh, India? Uh, according to Germany. In, in compared India, to Germany? Yeah, compared to Germany, actually. I would rate it. Six, six. Okay. Yeah. Statistics would say that 40% of the crime ish is being perpetrated by those of immigrant background. Is that a concerning problem to you or is that overblown? I, I think it's it's a problem with uh, the segregation at hand. If I would have to flee my country out of actual fear of, of being and then put into basically camps and would not be allowed to, to work, sure. perhaps I would also search uh, for work but not so much on the legal the side. The Germans are just a tolerant man. The Germans are so kind-hearted, so tolerant, so liberal, and this is their own demise, ultimately, the way that this guy thinks. No, it's not only refugees in that statistic. It is people that have a foreign background, just like myself. Parents that came from a different country. You have no idea how many foreigners become criminals, even though they had the same chances like their German counterparts, if you will. But the Germans really think like this. Again, it's absolutely ridiculous. If you fled your country, now you come to a new country, you get a new chance, why would you then start criminal activity? Is that logical? Is this reasonable? And if you still think it is, should you then stay in that country? Of course you shouldn't. Yeah, but sexual I, I, assault, I for instance, them. wouldn't fall yes. under that category, right? Oh, yeah, no, thank you very definitely much. Definitely not. Do you think things like oh, yeah, that are a cultural not. difference or, or no? Or just bad apples exist in every bunch, things happen? Some things are, are cultural, but... Um, I wouldn't say that yeah, we, we, we should not put uh, everyone, which we are doing right now politically, sure. everyone into the same um, cup. I also give No, they're not. So first and foremost, look into the statistics of rape in India. So most definitely something is very, very different in India compared to Germany, let's say. But moreover, no, you're not painting everything with one brush here. If you actually would have looked into the politics of the AFD, and again, I have to repeat myself, I don't care for that party whatsoever. They are a bunch of Zionists as well. But nevertheless, they're not saying kick every foreigner out. No, they're saying as well that people that commit certain crimes should be deported, which is absolutely reasonable. 8.5 or 9. Okay. Yeah, it's good. I'm doing what I like. Anything I'm, I'm doing, I, if I want it, I'm doing it. No one is here to stop me until and unless I'm not doing anything wrong. What about the motherland? It's always my love. It will oh, be okay. always more than 10. It, why are you not in India? It's a 10 and this is an 8.5. <laughs> I can't exactly. believe you now. No, the thing is, like, main problem in India is population. We don't have too much of employment there. Yeah, too many, too much of employment. We cannot earn that much money that we earn here. I'll have sufficient money with me. Then I'll go back to India, do something on my own. I won't be living up far away from my family. Yeah, family is more important than money, I know. But I'm giving this time to myself to on money then later on i'll see what i can do you're gonna leave as well at some point or you would you stay here permanently i plan to stay here for a long time over yeah yeah ich will auch die afd und, und weil ich habe nichts gegen ausländer gottes willen aber wenn der eigene deutsche so ausgenutzt wird okay. ja okay. und und das ist eben das ja da muss ich ein bisschen was dran ändern jetzt hier weil wir müssen doch an uns denken weil auf jeden fall ich mache meine ja, sache ich, ich mache meine aufgabe wir alle deutsche hier wir sind gleich alle männer sind gleich über alle es gibt keinen unterschied als du bist deutscher oder nicht probleme ist hier muss man wirklich richtig richtig lernen erstmal die sprache damit man in dieses land integrieren kann weißt du muss man das machen. Ich auch, ich habe die gleiche Idee, was hat mein Kollege gesagt jetzt. Für mich Marokko ist mein Land. Ich lebe okay. Marokko wirklich. Ich habe viel, viel gelernt in Marokko. Okay. 
die Nummer, ich gebe Deutschland 3. <laughs> he basically says that Germany is a 3 on a scale from 1 to 10 and that he loves Morocco and his plan is to make money in Germany and then to take off back to Morocco. So is this not exploitation? Economic migrants using the term refugee to come here and sometimes exactly. but yeah, for me it's 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 not the the highest part. Deutschland versus yeah, India. Yeah, for you, because I've you have no idea. My sister worked in a refugee camp, by the way, and matter of fact, many people from Macedonia, the country that I'm from, or the countries surrounding it, Kosovo or Bosnia, would simply come over as alleged refugees. They would throw away their passports and then act as if they come from some sort of war-torn country. It is absolute nonsense. The majority of migrants are economic migrants. Simply look at the population, look at the demographics of those migrants. You will see that the majority is fighting age males. Uh, and stay you can here, see that in the like interview here as well. India, as you also, uh, I see. Know. So you'll come here, make some money, and then go home? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, pretty much a, a nation which which lies on its uh, workforce. So uh, if, if that's idiot. shrinking, sure, we, we will lose uh, financially and we will sure. fall back in the international race. You're, you're the question is, already. at what cost? Well, uh, how much is a dollar worth, right? <laughs> yes. And what will also, be the social consequences of uh, mass immigration to a country? These very questions are what troubles the AFD. You cannot ask those it's questions in Germany, otherwise you're a Nazi. Oh, right, guys. I'm going to cut it off here because the video is long enough as it is. And I pretty much gave you my thoughts as uncensored as I can here on YouTube. Of course, I still had to bite my tongue, but ultimately it really boils down to the German mentality. I went to school in Germany and Germans have been told over and over again that they are the bad guys. It is absolutely inexcusable what they have done, even though nobody of those people that hear that message nowadays were there at that time, but they hear this mantra over and over again. We cannot repeat this. We cannot repeat this. Don't be a fascist. Don't be a right winger, etc., etc., you name it. And meanwhile, their country is being overrun by economic migrants of a fighting age. This is what it is. Predominantly males. Truly, look at the statistics, you will see that I'm right. Predominantly males, 20 to 35 years old. So when we're talking about refugees from a country where a war is happening, usually that would be women and children. You saw that, for example, with Ukraine, plenty of Ukrainian women went to Germany and other surrounding countries. And meanwhile, the men are fighting the war. So why now does Germany have so many migrants that are actually male? What kind of war is being fought over there? And moreover, where are the women and children? As I said already, I know firsthand, because my sister worked in a refugee camp, how many fakers you got. It is absolutely unbelievable. And moreover, as a Muslim, I have to say that this is such a bad look on Islam. Because if you believe the statistic, 18% are committing 40% of the crimes. I make the claim that it's much more than that because people that are being counted as German actually are simply second or third generation foreigners. But nevertheless, the majority of them come from Muslim countries and they're putting a stain on Islam. This is why the Germans think so negatively of Islam. They're not thinking negatively of Buddhism because you don't have plenty of Buddhists in Germany misbehaving. It is just human nature to label and put people into boxes. This is how it works. And when you see crime after crime after rape committed by people from Muslim countries, of course you will start thinking that Islam is the problem. And this is why I make the claim, if you truly dislike the West, you hate the West ultimately, you think that the West and Islam is incompatible, then you should leave. Then you should do hijrah. It is most definitely better for you, better for your family. It doesn't have to grow up in that environment. And it is simply better for everyone, for you and for the Germans. Because what kind of coexistence is this if you truly hate the other, you hate their culture, you dislike everything about them, simply leave. Don't stay there for economic reasons. There's much more important in life than making a quick buck. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support my work. Moreover, let me know in the comment section as well what you think about this topic. All right, guys, but this is it. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. Ya nafsu illam tadfari la tajzai Ah